वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन विच लिटरली आई एम सेंग इट थ्रू दिस इज लिटरली नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल कुड नॉट डू इट सी द थिंग इज द आंसर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन देर आर टू आंसर ओके ओके नॉट ओनली जस्ट वन सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल गॉट द फर्स्ट आंसर दे फॉर गॉट अबाउट द सेकेंड वन सो लेट्स फर्स्ट लुक एट द ईजियर ऑप्शन so normally when you look at something like this the idea is what to take log and etc etc but if you look closely you can also have one value of x which is true for this particular equation itself and that is if you take the value of x as 0 when you put the value of x as 0 over here eventually the entire uh, lhs becomes 0 and here also if you put the value of x as 0 then the entire rhs also becomes 0 so for now what we will say is that the first value of x is what is equals to 0 and now let's understand what happens when you take log on both sides so this is your question so like i said we will first take log of 3x the whole raised to log 3 equals to log of 4x the whole raised to log 4 now first thing what we will do is we'll apply the law of logarithm which says log of a raised to m is nothing but what m log a so using that logic we'll say log of 3 into now see understand log of a product so log of a product is what log of a into b can be written as what log of a plus log of b so this looks like log of 3 plus log of x is equals to similarly here also we'll have log 4 the whole thing gets multiplied by log 4 plus log x okay next is let's multiply this inside so log 3 into log 3 you get what log 3 square plus log 3 into log x equals to this becomes log 4 square plus log 4 into log x Now what we'll do next is we'll keep the constants on one side and the variables on on another side. So we'll have log three square minus log four square equals to. Here what we will take is log four into log x minus log three into log x. Now here if you look. closely this looks like expansion of a square minus b square okay so that expansion is nothing but what it is a minus b into a plus b so this will look like log 3 minus log 4 into log Three plus log four, and here we'll take log x common. So we are left with log four minus log three. Now, in order to find the value of x, we will divide both sides by log four minus log three. and if you look closely this is completely cancelling and this can be cancelled but this will be reverse so it will be minus 1 taken outside then only it becomes log 4 minus log 3 okay so eventually we can say that your log x is looking like minus 1 into log of 3 plus log of 4 okay now please understand like you remember log of a product 
or log of a plus log of b can also be written as what log of a into b so similarly this looks like minus 1 log of 3 into 4 that gets you 12 okay and this is log x now you remember we had a log of um, let's say m can be written as log m to the power a so using this log x equals to log 12 raised to minus 1 so now obviously the logs will can be cancelled and now we can say that x equals to 12 raised to minus 1 or we can say it is 1 upon 12 so now coming back to your final question so we had this one answer as x equals to 0 another is what 12 raised to minus 1 or we can say 1 upon 12 I hope this is too, very very clear to every one okay so now let's put the value of x as 0 once we put the value of 0 we realize that it is satisfying both the sides okay so let's put the value of x as what 1 upon 12 in this particular LHS okay so we will have 3 into 1 upon 12 the whole raised to log 3 So this becomes 1 upon 4 log 3. So we have 1 upon 4 the whole raised to log 3. And here this will become 4 into 1 upon 12 raised to log 4. So this becomes 1 upon 3 the whole raised to log 4. And when you actually put this value in the calculator, you will realize they are very, very close to each other. Okay. So, I hope you have understood how to solve these kind of questions. Achha. Now, students, apart from this, if you have any doubts, then please put your doubts in the comment section. I will definitely try to make a video on the same. Also, I daily, daily upload at least minimum twice, two times every day. So, you, if you have a particular topic of mathematics where you feel that, you know, this is something which is very, very difficult or you want a trick for that, please reach out to me via comment section or telegram or you can also email me. All of these details are given in the description. Okay. So, I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will definitely, definitely see you in the next video. Till then, see ya.